Today is International Holocaust Remembrance Day, a day set aside to honor the millions of victims of the Holocaust. Here in Central Florida, members of the Jewish community are using it as an opportunity to teach future generations about the horror their own families faced. It comes as Orlando's Holocaust Memorial Museum is getting a huge expansion. News 6's Carolina Cardona joins us live from the new site with more. Hi, Carolina. Yeah, Louis, so that new building is actually going to be located right behind me. That building that you see right now, that's the Chamber of Commerce building. It's an old building. It's no longer operating there, but that one is going to be demolished for the construction of the new Holocaust Museum. And so today I spoke with a couple of members of the Jewish community, and they told me about what lessons have been learned from the past and how we as a society can move forward from the atrocities committed during World War II. It's a sobering thought when I walk down that hall and I see those faces not knowing what happened to them. The faces of his Jewish ancestors that remain in pictures at the family home of Louis Goldman. Goldman's grandfather arrived as a teen in the U.S. before World War II, escaping from Jewish persecution in Europe. I think one of the things that we've learned, and it's the famous quote that says, those who don't remember the past are condemned to repeat it. And it's incumbent on all of us to make sure that we're all educated on what happened. At Southwest Orlando Jewish Congregation, Lewis says they strive to teach their members lessons from the past in hopes history won't repeat itself. A mission Tali DePold also holds dear to her heart. Her grandparents were survivors of the Holocaust. Quite frankly, it gives us a chance to address the rise in hate rhetoric that is going on in today's society. So we see it as an opportunity to refocus and recommit on education. She's dedicated her life to the Holocaust Memorial Center in Maitland, where she's the CEO, a place that honors the victims of the Holocaust and works to keep their stories alive. The lesson that I take from my grandparents is about rebuilding and resilience. Um, I wouldn't be where I am today if it had not been for their strength to pick up their lives, to rebuild, to move. And so I try to take all of the positive elements from the past and use that um, to do this important work. Work that's expanding to a brand new Holocaust museum in downtown Orlando, expected to break ground in 2024. And it's our role, it's incumbent on society today to understand those patterns, to see them, and to be determined to fighting and combating anytime we in a society try to turn on one another to try to understand why is that happening. The Holocaust Museum for Hope and Humanity is expected to open in 2026. In Orange County, Carolina Cardona getting results. Back to you guys in the studio. Carolina, thank you.